Hi, in this uh, video we will learn how to start our embedded Tomcat servlet container in Spring Boot. Before that, first we need to understand what is a servlet container. Let's draw a simple diagram which has a web server, a servlet container and a client. Okay, this is your uh, web server. This is the servlet container. Let's uh, name this as web server. Let's name this as servlet container. This is your client or browser. So from the client, you will get a HTTP request. And uh, from the server, you'll get a HTTP response. Let's write that here. This is HTTP request. Okay. This is HTTP response. So this is where servlet container sits inside the web server. The web server is the whole thing and uh, this is the servlet container. So what does this uh, servlet container do? Servlet container is a component of a web server that interacts with Java servlets. It is the one responsible for managing the life cycle of uh, servlets. The servlet sits here in the servlet container and uh, it knows what to do for a respective servlet. Okay, so when I say it manages the whole uh, life cycle of uh, servlets, you should be knowing what does uh, the init method, service methods, and uh, in that context. Okay, so <clears throat> if you see in our uh, Eclipse, uh, you will be seeing a uh, you'll be seeing one uh, uh, jar file that is called uh, embedded uh, Tomcat uh, uh, jar file. Okay, I'll just uh, quickly bring that up. So this is our, uh, our demo application that we did. You can see the Maven dependencies here. Okay, and uh, this is the Tomcat uh, servlet container jars. And uh, this is how uh, your Spring Boot application uh, will get uh, uh, the embedded Tomcat servlet container. Okay, so uh, let's see what are some uh, advantages okay, of uh, using embedded Tomcat uh, servlet container. Okay, the first thing is it is easy to use. Okay, so when I say easy to use in Spring Boot, there is no need for you to configure the Tomcat and uh, add to the project path and uh, all that stuff okay so second thing is uh, it is uh, suitable for microservices architecture if you have any uh, any uh, application with uh, monolithic architecture you, you should be know the you should be knowing the pain of uh, 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 of the application okay and uh, the last thing is for standalone application It's uh, very easy to create a standalone application uh, with a Spring Boot and run it because you'll be getting a runnable jar. Thank you for watching this video.